Could you tell us how the Anishinaabe of Bawading participated in the War of 1812? We actually sent 600 warriors from here. And um, Batuana's chief was killed in, uh, in Niagara Falls area. I don't know if you know where Fort George is, down at the mouth of the Niagara River where it comes into Lake Ontario. Batuana's chief was killed in the War of 1812. Y anybody ever hear of uh, Brock University? Sir Isaac Brock? Um, also, so that was, he was killed in 1813. The war started in 1812. We sent all these warriors down there. Um, there was, at the time, um, we went with um, Chief Shingwak, Chief Wabachichok, Chief um, Shingabawasan, Chief Kageash, Chief. There was a number of chiefs that went from our area that were all Crane Clan. We were all relatives. They led the contingency, the contingent of <coughs> warriors that went down there. And um, our chief was killed. General Brock, who was fighting for the British in the War of 1812. And if you don't know what the War of 1812 was, it was the United States wanted this area to be a part of the United States. And we decided to, as the indigenous people, we decided that we would support the British. So uh, what the British told us was that we will fight to protect the rights of the indigenous people. It wasn't the indigenous people that went to fight for the British. It was the British that was fighting for us to protect our rights because there was, there was the strong possibility of infringements or the United States would try to extinguish our language, our culture, our rights to manage the lands. So we aligned ourselves with the, the British. It wasn't the other way around. The British were our allies where, rather than we were the allies of the British. It was, uh, it was, uh, there's, it doesn't quite reflect that way in the history today. So actually, uh, out of appreciation, Sir Isaac Brock, General Brock in um, Niagara Falls gave Chief Shingwak his shoulder flashings on his, his uniform to the chief, one of our chiefs in the area, and his sword for, uh, as, a, as a sign of their cooperation and their working together in the War of 1812. So when Batchewana's chief, Wabachichok, was killed in Fort George in 1813, that left Batchewana with a very young hereditary chief. The chief was actually eight years old after the War of 1812. 1813, Batchewana ended up having a chief that was eight years old. His name was Chief Nimina Gojing. And Chief Nimina Gojing is Crane. He's a Crane, and the name is, he's a Crane, but he flies with tilted wing. That's what Nemina Gojing meant. And Chief Nemina Gojing, job, his job for the people was to be able to be the chief, but look at things out of the ordinary, look at things in a unique way, bring a different perspective to the people than what we're conditioned to think. So we were very prominent in the War of 1812. Uh, we actually sacrificed a lot during the 1812. And, um, we ended up at the end of that war um, uh, continuing to have all of our language and our culture and our jurisdiction protected by the British. And that's still the case today. There was never an extinguishment. Never, our rights were never extinguished. We still have all of those things. That's why today you'll see a lot of Native people standing up and, and being critical and complaining to Canada and protesting, saying you're supposed to be protecting my rights, not extinguishing them and taking them away. You're supposed to help me. That's part of where it came from is during the War of 1812. We agreed to work together. But so, important date for us, 1812. Yeah.